Okay, let's continue talking about uh, the differentiation. Um, today we're going to talk about related rates, which is uh, it's actually a prior problem. of implicit differentiation. So for this particular section, we will learn how to find a related rate. <laughs> Use related rates to solve real world problems. First one, let's take a look at how to find the related rate. The chain rule, right? It's what we use to find the derivative implicitly. Another important use of the chain rule is to find the rates of change of two or more related variables that are changing with respect to time t. So for example, when water is drained out of the conical tank, See the figure uh, on the right. The volume V, the radius R, and then the height H of the water level are all functions of time t. Knowing that these variables are related by the equation V equals to pi over 3 times R squared times H, this is the original equation. <clears throat> and this is the motion describing the, the process of a drain out of the conic tank. And you can differentiate implicitly with respect to t to obtain the related rate equations. Okay, so basically what you do is uh, write an equation pi of 3 times r squared times h. Then basically we're going to take it we're going to differentiate everything with, with respect to time t, so dv over dt. And um, here we have to use the product rule. So this is our f dot g. So f equals to r squared. f prime is equals to 2r times dr over dt. And g is h and g prime, which is uh, 1 times dh over dt. Then we just apply the product rule. So a prime to r times dr over dt times g, which is h plus f times g prime, so it's r squared times dh over dt. Okay, then just uh, simplify this, so end up with dv of dt equals to power of 3 and 2rh times dr over dt plus r square times h over dt. Okay. From this equation, you can see that the rates of change of V is related to the rates of change of both R and H. Okay, meaning this is this thing is related to two things: this and that. Suppose that x and y are both differentiable functions of a t and are related by the equation y equals to x squared plus 3. Find dy over dt when x equals to 1, given that dx over d, dt equals 2 when x equals 1. OK, so first of all, we got to differentiate this implicitly with respect to time t. So first of all, we do dy over dt. And this one, x squared, derivative of x squared, 2x. Just remember we have dx with dt. And derivative of constant becomes 0. Okay. So end up with dy over dt equal 2x times dx over dt. 
Now I'm looking for this. So since x equals to 1, dx over dt equals 2. Just replace both with a given number. So you get 2 times 1 times 2, which is 4. Okay, that means change of y over time t is 4 unit. All right, so next, let's take a look at problem solving with uh, related rates. So first of all, there are several like steps. Guidelines for solving related rate problem. First step, identify all given quantities and the quantities to be determined. Make a sketch and label the quantities. Second step, write an equation involving the variable whose rates of change either are given or are to be determined. Use the trend rule. Implicitly differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to time t. So this is a key thing, right? You differentiate everything with respect to time t. After completing step three, substitute into the resulting equation all known values for variables and then that rate of changes, then solve solve for the required rate of change. Okay, so far unknown basically. So let's take a look at the example, an inflating balloon. Air is being pumped into a spherical balloon. See below, this is the motion. At a rate of 4.5 cubic feet per minute. If you look at this, what is this called? Cubic feet, right? If you just look at a unit, cubic feet per minute, that should be change of volume over change of time, right? So it's 4.5 cubic feet. Per minute. So it's given that. Now find the rate of change of the radius when the radius is two feet. So radius equal two feet. Okay, those are the given information from the question. And this is the motion. Just balloon is getting bigger and bigger. And let V be the volume of the balloon and let R be its radius. So E V equals to So the volume formula is 4 over 3 times pi r cube. All right, so first of all, we just got to differentiate everything with respect to time t. So dv over dt on the left, 4 over 3 times pi. And differentiate r cube becomes 3 r squared times dr over dt. Now we know that dv over dt is given, which is 4.5 cubic feet per minute. And radius r is basically equals to, from previous slide, 2 feet. So now I just got to replace dv over dt, and give a number, replace r with the given number. Right? So you get 4.5 equals 4 over 3 pi times 3 times r squared, which is 2 squared times dr over dt. Simplify the left hand side, we're going to end up with uh, cancel that 16 pi times dr over dt. Now, dividing both sides of the equation by 16 pi. Then you end up with a uh, cancel that. dr with dt equals 4.5 times 16 pi. And this is feet per minute. And that's a unit for the change of radius over change of time. And this is a detailed solution, but you can definitely take a look at solution from the 